Hey, my friend, Drew Canoli out here in Medellin, Colombia, and I want to talk to you about something that I've learned while traveling to South America that I want to help you with, and that is speaking your authentic truth. You see, most people are afraid to speak their truth because they're afraid what other people will think, right? They're in, they're in their own head the whole entire time, and they really can't communicate effectively or share because they're thinking about what the other person is thinking about. Once you realize this, once you understand that if you're on an elevator, everybody on the elevator with you, they, those eight people as you travel up this building are thinking about things in their own life. They're thinking about what you and I are thinking about, about them. Everyone's thinking about what others are thinking about them. So that opens up this blue ocean of opportunity to actually get outside your own mind and be compassionate and be heart-centered when it comes to communicating with other people. So to really speak your truth, you have to get outside of your head into the minds and the hearts of those other people that are around you, which is really cool. And number two is speak their language. You see, I'm in South America and my Spanish is shaky at best. I can get by, but what language do all of us speak, right? Number one, the universal, international language of love. But what comes after that? Well, nonverbal communication exists in 70% of the communication that's actually spoken. So, if you're in a conversation with somebody, what do you want to do? You want to lean in, you want to be attentive, you want your eyes to be wide open, you want to be smiling, you want to communicate, you want to be shaking your head. And what I've realized in South America is that I'm more dependent on nonverbal communication than I've ever been. And it's going to allow me to be more effective in communication in the United States. So take advantage of that and the opportunity that you have to truly be present with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. And number three is be the hero in every situation. That goes for women and men. It's our responsibility as uh, awakened souls, right? You're watching this, you've attracted this information into your life, you're becoming better. You're on the personal development choo-choo train, right? Choo-choo. Being anywhere else in the world, we've been blessed. I can say that. Anywhere you are in the world and you're watching this, the ability to even watch this, that means you've been blessed. So anywhere you go, how do you be the hero? Well, you look for opportunities. You look for places, things, events, where you can participate more than everyone else. And what does that mean? Is it sharing more love? Absolutely. Is it uh, picking up the tap all the time? It absolutely is. Is it tipping more than what you normally would because that person probably only makes $300 US per month? That's absolutely what it is to be the hero. So look for situations, look for opportunities to where you can play more in life. And that's what this is about. Share your truth, my friends. Speak it. I'm Drew Canoli. Remember, we're in this together, and I'll see you next week.